let's face it, sometimes financial topics can get a little boring, which is why we try to make them easy to understand and fun with our consumer series Money It's Personal. Now, active duty service members can also enjoy learning about financial topics in a fun new way. Web producer Ivan Herrera tells us about the Misadventures in Money Management program and how this type of training is giving service members an interactive way to learn about money with the help of zombies and even time travel. Choose your own adventure. That's the name of the game with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau's new Misadventures in Money Management program. The cutting edge graphic novel style virtual learning experience lets current and even future service members learn how to navigate financial hurdles in a fun way. The CFPB program covers topics such as the importance of building savings, how to avoid impulse buying, how debt can affect a military career, and many other topics. The training tool was created to help military leaders, recruiters, and professional finance managers educate, advise, and train service members on critical financial decisions. The CFPB says it created the program after speaking with lots of service members who said they were tired of boring slideshows and wanted a program that was fun and helped service members remember the material. So it's no wonder why the interactive tool lets you fight zombies, travel through time, and you even get to become a secret agent, all while learning key financial concepts. Current and future service members are encouraged to check out the Misadventures in Money Management tool, and they can even see how other participants are doing on the leaderboard, which compares how each branch of service is doing compared to others. For The Nine, Ivan Herrera. If you'd like to access the Misadventures in Money Management tool, head to our website, ksat.com slash news at nine. And if you have any money questions that you would like us to answer, you can submit those questions right there at the bottom of that article.